Ever wondered how alligators live their lives from birth to death? Well, you're not alone. These ancient reptiles have been intriguing humans for centuries with their mysterious and often misunderstood nature. In this video, we'll be delving into the captivating world of alligators, exploring their life cycle in detail from the moment they hatch from their eggs to their final breath. Alligators are a marvel of evolution, having roamed the earth for millions of years. They've survived the test of time, outliving their dinosaur cousins and adapting to changing environments, which is a testament to their resilience and adaptability. But what exactly does the life of an alligator entail? Imagine being born into a world where your first task is to escape from an egg buried in a mound of vegetation. This is the reality for baby alligators and it's just the beginning of their journey. But what do these young alligators eat to grow into the formidable predators they become? That's where we start to unravel the mystery of their diet. Alligators are carnivores, but they're not picky eaters. From fish and frogs to large mammals, they eat whatever they can catch. But where do they find this diverse menu? That brings us to the alligator's habitat. Alligators are freshwater creatures, and they've made their homes in a variety of wetland habitats. From swamps and marshes to rivers and lakes, they're perfectly adapted to life in the water. But it's not all about survival. Alligators have a softer side too, especially when it comes to mating. Just like other animals, alligators have specific mating rituals. They engage in elaborate courtship displays, proving that even these fearsome predators have a romantic side. But what happens when it's time for an alligator to leave this world? Death is a natural part of life, and for alligators, it's no different. But their passing can sometimes bring danger, especially when humans are involved. It's a complex and delicate balance that we'll be exploring further. Stay tuned as we journey into the fascinating world of alligators. The journey of an alligator starts even before it hatches. This fascinating journey begins in a nest, typically composed of vegetation, sticks, leaves, and mud. Mother alligators are exceptional architects, creating a mound-like dwelling that serves as an incubator for their eggs. They lay between 20 to 60 oval-shaped eggs, each around the size of a goose egg. The incubation period lasts for about 65 days, a time during which the mother alligator guards her nest fiercely against predators. The temperature inside the nest determines the sex of the hatchlings, a natural wonder of the alligator world. Warmer temperatures produce males, while cooler ones result in females. When it's time to emerge, the baby alligators use a special tooth, called a caruncle, to break the shell. These hatchlings are about 6 to 8 inches long, and their life outside the shell begins with a chorus of high-pitched croaks, signaling their mother to carry them gently in her jaws to the water. The early life of an alligator is not easy. They may be born as predators, but they're also prey. Their small size makes them vulnerable to large fish, birds, and even other alligators. To survive, they stay close to their mother for about the first two years of their life, learning the ropes of the alligator way of living. In these formative years, they grow about a foot each year, feeding on insects, amphibians, small fish, and whatever else they can catch. As they grow, they learn to hunt larger prey, developing the strength and skills needed to become the apex predators they're destined to be. The survival rate for these young alligators is low, with only about 1 in 10 reaching adulthood. This is a testament to the harsh reality of the alligator world, where only the strongest and most cunning survive. Growing up is tough when you're a small alligator in a big pond. As a growing alligator, what's for dinner and where do you call home? Alligators are carnivorous creatures with a diet that ranges from fish, birds and small mammals, to other reptiles. Their hunting technique is a spectacle to behold. They are patient predators, often waiting motionless for hours on end for their prey to come within striking distance. Then, with a swift and powerful lunge, they grab their meal in their strong jaws, dragging it underwater to drown before feasting. But where do these fascinating creatures reside? Alligators can be found in freshwater environments such as ponds, marshes, wetlands, rivers, and swamps. They are remarkably adaptable and can tolerate a range of temperature and salinity levels, allowing them to thrive in various habitats. Alligators even dig out burrows or gator holes, which serve not only as a refuge but also create habitats for other wildlife during the drier seasons. The alligator is a master of adaptation making the most of its environment and diet. When it comes to romance, alligators have their unique style. In the sultry swamps and marshes, the mating ritual of alligators is a spectacle of nature. It's a dance of dominance and desire, a symphony of sound and movement that signals the start of a new generation. The courtship begins with the males showing off their strength and vitality, 
they create a spectacle bellowing deeply, sending ripples across the water's surface. These low-frequency bellows, almost inaudible to human ears, are an irresistible call to the females. It's like the alligator version of a love song, a serenade that echoes across the waterways. But it's not just about the song. Males also exhibit a display of dominance by lifting their bodies out of the water, showcasing their size and strength. It's a show of power intended to impress the females and intimidate rival males. Once a female is suitably impressed, the pair will engage in a delicate dance. They'll touch snouts, intertwine their bodies and swim together. It's an intimate ballet, a gentle contrast to the earlier displays of power. After the courtship, the female will lay her eggs, usually between 20 and 60, in a nest she constructs from vegetation and mud. These nests are a testament to the mother's dedication, as she guards them fiercely from predators for about two months until the eggs hatch. When the time comes, the mother gently carries the hatchlings in her jaws to the water. It's a touching display of maternal care in a world often perceived as ruthless. Reproduction in alligators is a fascinating mix of power and subtlety, strength and tenderness. Each step, from the bellowing courtship to the guard of the nest, is critical to the survival of the species. In the world of alligators, love is a matter of survival. The end of the journey is as significant as the beginning for an alligator. The lifespan of these prehistoric predators is quite impressive. In the wild, they live on average between 30 and 50 years. However, in captivity, where threats are minimized alligators can live up to 70 years, a testament to their resilience and adaptability. Alligators meet their end in various ways. Predation is a significant cause of death for young alligators, falling prey to larger alligators, birds, and even large fish. As they grow, their list of predators shrinks, but they become more vulnerable to humans and environmental changes. Many alligators die prematurely due to habitat destruction or illegal hunting. Now let's take a moment to appreciate the alligator's role in the ecosystem, even after death. As apex predators, alligators play a vital part in maintaining balance in their environment. And when they die, their bodies become a source of nutrients supporting a whole new cycle of life. Turning to a darker side, alligators also pose a significant danger to humans, mainly due to their size, strength, and predatory instincts. Each year, there are several reported alligator attacks on people. Most of these occur when humans inadvertently wander into their territory. It's essential to remember that alligators are wild animals and should be respected as such. Despite their fearsome reputation and the danger they can pose, fatal alligator attacks are relatively rare. Most incidents result from people not respecting the boundaries between human and alligator habitats or attempting to feed these wild creatures. It's a stark reminder that we share this world with these formidable creatures and we must strive to live in harmony with them. In conclusion, the alligator's journey from birth to death is a cycle of survival, adaptation and resilience. Their existence even in death significantly impacts the ecosystem, demonstrating their indispensable role in the circle of life. Even in death, the alligator plays a crucial role in our ecosystem. Today, we've journeyed through the life of an alligator from its humble beginnings to its final moments. We've seen the fascinating process of their birth and early life where these robust creatures emerge from their shells, ready to face the world. We've explored their diet, a diverse smorgasbord from fish to mammals and their habitat, the lush water bodies of the Americas and China. We've witnessed the compelling dance of mating and reproduction, a delicate blend of power and grace ensuring the continuity of their species. Then, we've delved into the darker side, death and danger, the risks they pose to humans and the threats they face from us. But remember these are not just predators, they are survivors, having graced our planet for millions of years. As we part ways with the alligator, we remember that every creature has its story, and understanding these stories can foster respect and coexistence.